Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. We are on our journey to becoming rich. And in the last video, I emphasized buying what you consume. That means if you was to go to the mall, or if you was to go to the corner store, or if you was to go to the gas station, do not buy anything out of that store unless you have that company inside of your portfolio. And I said that if that's one of the goals that you have this year to have the companies that you consume inside of your portfolio, that you will end up being successful at the end of the year, making a ton of money and you guys reply with so you're telling me to just throw my money at these companies no matter how expensive the stock is you just want me to throw my money at these companies at any price that's what you're telling me to do yes that's what i'm telling you to do that's called dollar cost averaging that is an amazing way to average inside of the market and historically speaking when you dollar cost average you're going to win over time instead of trying to time the market but I did see some of the products that you guys are consuming and I would not consume inside those products myself. Some of the products you guys consume, oh man, yeah. Not every company is a good company. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys five ETFs that will cover everything that you will ever consume in your life. All right, guys. So these five ETFs, if you have them inside your portfolio, you can walk out your house and not have to worry about, do I have this company in my portfolio? Yes, you're going to have that company inside of your portfolio. So if you're new to investing, you guys are probably wondering, what are ETFs? ETF stands for Exchange Traded Funds. These companies are traded on the stock exchange. Now, basically what they are is that they hold inside of their portfolio many different stocks inside of their portfolio. So let's say, for example, ETF letter A uh, holds 10 different um, car companies inside of their portfolio. So they will be considered a car type of ETF. Now, there are many ETFs out there. There are ETFs that hold or you're on gas, there are ETFs out there that hold 20 different gaming type of companies inside of their portfolio. There's a new meta ETFs where they hold different metaverse stocks inside of their portfolio. So there's an ETF for everything that you need, guys, if you want to narrow it down to a very specific group. But in this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the top performing five ETFs that you could grab today to add to your portfolio that have over 500 different kinds of companies inside of their portfolio. In fact, another ETF holds over 2,000 different companies inside of their portfolio. So if you're adding these to your portfolio, you, you could walk out the house not worrying about if you own this company inside of your portfolio. Because if you own a couple of these ETFs inside of your portfolio, you are covered, guys. So that is a great way if you don't want to invest into every individual company. Uh, if you're new to investing and you don't really know much about these companies, the ETFs is the safer route for you. You might not make as much money, but if you're investing into these good quality ETFs and you don't know much about the stock market, they got you covered. They're going to cover some of the top companies in the world. And then once you get a hang of the stock market, then you can start investing into these individual companies that they hold inside of their portfolio. So if you want to find out these top five ETFs, make sure that you stick to at the end of this video so you don't miss out on any crucial information. Hit the subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But before we dive into it, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money and you receive two free stocks valued up to $1,600. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money. Also, I left a link in the description to Coinbase. That is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Uh, grab some free Bitcoin that way. And also, I left a link to Moomoo. You can receive five free stocks by depositing $100. All of those links are down below. Grab your free money, guys. Do not miss out on this opportunity. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. And also to all the new investors out there, if you guys want to be a part of a great community, you can sign up now for my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to the Discord. That link is in the comment section. Over there, I post every single time I buy and sell a stock, all of my swing trades, my day trades. And we have a great group of pro traders over there. They post all of their option trades, their swing trades. And also you'll be a part of a great community of investors and traders. If you're trying to have a bunch of knowledge all in one place, you can sign up for the Patreon. The Patreon to take it to my Discord, and you'll have a whole bunch of knowledge all in one place. So if you want to check that out, once again, that link is down in the comment section. 
Welcome back, dreamers. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, how can you tell if this is an ETF or not? Well, nine times out of 10, if you're on Robinhood or Weeble, it's going to say ETF on the stock price. For example, here is SPY. But a cool thing on Robinhood that they are showing that if you scroll down, they're going to show their top sectors right here. SPY, 26% of that uh, sectors is in technology, financials, um, communication, consumer defense, real estate. If you look at their top 10 holdings, it actually show you the top 10 holding companies in their portfolio. But on Robinhood, they like to simplify things. It's going to give you just a quick blink of what this company is about, what this ETF is about. It show you their top 10 holdings and the percentage of that sector. So if you guys are wondering, how do you know if it's an ETF? That is how you know it's an ETF, guys. Let's take one more quick look at PEY. Um, if we take a look at PEY, once again, at the top, it's going to say PEY Invesco High Yield Equity ETF is going to say it. And if you scroll down, it's, it's going to show the sector and the top 10 holders. But I'm going to go ahead and pull up Seeking Alpha so we can get more in-depth inside of these companies and show you how you can make over $450,000 just from investing into these ETFs. So let's go ahead and pull up Seeking Alpha. All right, so here we are on Seeking Alpha. The first ETF I'm going to bring you guys is SPY. The S&P, it tracks the S&P 500. It tracks the top 500 companies in America. Now you get a little bit more information based off of SPY. It shows you that they got 26% in technology, um, healthcare, financials. It gives you the whole split up on what this ETF is about. And if you scroll down, you guys can see what percentage of Apple they have inside their portfolio, 6.6%. I think every ETF is going to have Apple inside of their portfolio. I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, look at number of holdings at the bottom. So they have 500 different companies inside, inside of the SPY um, ETF. 508 different companies in the top 10 holdings alone account for 30.34% of their portfolio. So they're really big on Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon and Tesla. I think Tesla just got added into the S&P 500. At first, Tesla was not on the S&P 500, but this is this the SPY basically tracks the market and the market usually beat people that are trying to outperform the market. Some people have been doing it for years. They can outperform the market. But new investors, if you want to just be along with the market and make money, then make more money than you would have just putting it inside the bank, then SPY might be the way to go. Um, the second stock I'm going to bring you guys is VOO, ticker symbol VOO. Once again, this is another company. It has 515 different holdings inside this portfolio. SPY and VOO kind of tracks the same. They have the same 26.8%. 3% in technology, financials. Their top 10 holdings is again, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Google. But it is a little bit of different percentage over here on the side. So let's switch it up a little bit. Let's go over to our third ETF, ARC. This is ran by Kathy Wood. Uh, ARC is an active ETF. That means it adds companies to its portfolio. It takes companies out of its portfolio. It buys and sells shares on a daily basis. Um, other ETFs that have these companies inside their portfolio and they just stay inside of that portfolio, whether it's performing good, performing bad, they're just going to buy 100 shares of Ford every day, um, no matter what the price is. But ARK, if they see Ford is doing pretty good, they're going to load up on Ford. Ford is going to shoot through the roof. And then when Ford hits an all-time high, they're going to sell for it and look for the next grab. So ARK is a... If you're more on the risky side and you're really trying to outperform the market, ARK might be the ETF for you. As you guys can see, they got 36% in technology. It's a lot different from the other portfolios. 30% uh, in healthcare, 17% in communications. This is ARKK, and they only have 45 different companies inside their portfolio. Um, their top 10 is Tesla, um, Coinbase, if you guys like Coinbase and buying cryptocurrency, um, Teladoc, Unity, Roku, Zoom. So they add and subtract companies to their portfolio all the time. And these top 10 companies is around 53% of their portfolio. Now, if you're looking for one that might outperform the S&P 500, and that would be that would be company QQQ. They have 48% in the technology side, 17% uh, in consumers, 17% in communication. Their top holdings is, of course, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Tesla. But they did switch it up with NVIDIA at the top 10. 
They do have Netflix in that top 10 as well too. And they have 103 different companies inside of their portfolio. And that's gonna bring us to stock number five, VTWO. Uh, theirs is a bit different than the other ETFs. They are major in healthcare, technology, financials. Um, their top 10 is AMC, Avis, Crocs, BJ Wholesale Club, and they hold over 2,092 different companies inside of their portfolio, guys. So um, if you get them, you're going to have a lot of these smaller companies inside of your portfolio. And right now they're around $87.68. Now, if we take a look at that summary over the last 10 years, VTWO is up 200%. QQQ, like I said, these companies, if you're on mark with them, you're going to make money. 10 years, they're up 596%. ARC, over the last, I don't think ARC been around for 10 years. So let's look at year to date since 2015. They're up 333%. We got VOO, VOO over the last 10 years is up 275%. And once again, VOO is very close to SPY, they're up 273%. So if we took these top five ETFs and we invest $1,000, if we start off with $1,000 and we invested into QQQ, VOO, and SPY, right? And we also invested $200 a week into the S&P 500. That's right. We're going to invest $200 into the stock market, no matter what the price is. We're going to invest $200 every single Monday into one of these ETFs, no matter what the price is. So, yes, I said it. Yes, you just want me to invest into these companies, no matter what the price is. That's basically what I'm saying, guys. $200 every single week. So that's $800 a month. We're going to reinvest our dividends back into these companies and display income. Yes. So the first company portfolio number one is going to be QQQ. The second ETF is VOO. We're going to put 100% in portfolio number two. And portfolio number three is SPY ETF. So let's scroll down. So we hit analyze portfolio. Scroll down. We invest $200 into QQQ every single week for the last 10 years. You'll have $450 thousand dollars to a VLO you have three hundred thousand dollars and then to SPY you have another three hundred thousand dollars so if you're looking for a little bit of a risk QQQ might be the way to go ARK ETF might be the way to go if you're looking for a nice stable income on um, VLO and SPY is great ETFs to invest into so there you go dreamers we are on our way to becoming rich um, step number one, you can invest into companies that you consume, add them inside of your portfolio. Um, every time you fill up at the gas station and you drive an F-150, make sure that you put $20 into Ford. Or if you're filling up at Exxon, make sure that you invest $20 into Exxon, all right? With changing your mindset and the way of thinking and the way of investing and stop trying to beat the stock market because it shows if you just follow the stock market and quit trying to beat the stock market, you'll be up $350,000 just from investing into the stock market an etf that tracks the, the the stock market guys everybody that tries to beat the ETF, you're, you're not that guy you're not going to beat the stock market if you're new to investing quit trying to beat the stock market so the moral of the story guys on what you consume and watch your mindset change and watch your portfolio grow over time historical data has proven it that over the last 10 years if you invest into the stock market a company that tracks the stock market at etf then you guys are going to be good to go but that's all i got guys don't forget to pick up your two free stocks of weeble head down to the comment section drop any other etf that you guys have already been investing into or etf from this video that you're thinking about investing into i want to know down below which route are you willing to take do you just want to invest into spy which tracks the s p 500 or do you want to take a risk and invest into qqq and a arkk let me know down below in the comment section but other than that guys i can't wait to see us grow it is january in 2022 i can't wait to check in with you guys at the end of the year in december so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos but other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace